This week, it's comparison time. Oh boy, am I going to put the cat amongst the pigeons. <laughs> Hello and welcome to AAR On Air, comparison time. Recently, I found myself doing some testing of a couple of guns, one of which was the Virock HW100, and the other was a follow-up to the R12 SLX. And whilst I was outside, I thought, what about a comparison review? Because there are the huge Virock followers. There are the huge BSA followers. And me, in the middle, who likes both? So, what better opportunity when I've got two of the guns that most people talk about, but to do a bit of a comparison. So, what you see next is that comparison straight off the cuff. You know what? I'm going to do something today that I would never normally do. And I'm going to do a comparison of two big named brands. And these are probably the two to be as controversial as possible because they both have their followers. They really do have their followers. And it's a bit like people with cars. I've got a friend who will never buy anything other than a Mercedes. I've got a Mercedes, I've had Mercedes, I've had all sorts, but I wouldn't just buy that one because you're so driven by the brand. And there are lots of people out there who will only buy Virac or will only buy BSA. Now, I'm one of those rare individuals who has both. And so I suppose to a certain extent, that puts me in a position of strength and knowledge. And before anybody says I am not paid by Virac, Hull Cartridge or anybody else, and I'm not paid by BSA and never have been, so I am completely independent on this. I am not paid by any gun manufacturer. So there, no matter what you think, and you conspiracy theorists will still go off and think what you like. That's fine. Right, okay, which is the best? <laughs> the Virac HW100 or the BSA SLX, which is the new platform both of them are side levers. Okay, now in this particular instance, the one I have is a polymer stock on the 100. But recently I shot the laminate stock, I know it was a limited edition, but they still do a laminate stock anyway, in the 100. Now then, I personally, if I'm just gonna buy one gun, and it's a gun that I'm gonna shoot and just enjoy on the range, I would buy a laminate stock. At the very least, I would buy a walnut stock, but I do love a laminate stock, plywood, whatever you want to call it. I just think they are beautiful. Now, these two guns, I suppose, I like this one, I've just suddenly thought of this one, I suppose this is like the Spitfire versus the Messerschmitt ME109, and if you know your aircraft of World War II, both of those were amazing fighter aircraft. The ME109 had some tricks up its sleeve that the Spitfire hadn't, and vice versa. So, without talking all that kind of rubbish, the Virock, the Virock HW100 is more on the weighty side, but it's not that much different to the uh, SLX. To be fair, by the time you put a silencer and a scope and everything on it, they're very, very similar. It is a shorter, smaller tube on this, the KT, which is the, the carbine version. You can get the longer one. So your shot count would be down, but I suppose it's a little unfair because on this particular SLX, I've got the new BSA uh, carbon fibre bottle on the end, which gives you a heck of a lot more shots. But that's not really a direct comparison. Evenly, they would probably give similar amounts. As far as accuracy is concerned, I would struggle, struggle to put a fag paper, as used to be the saying, between these two on accuracy. They are amazing. You've got the barrel on the Virot, which is absolutely superb. You've got the cold hammer forge barrel on the BSA, which is just as superb. 
the action, I say both the side lever, I would say the initial pull is very light, almost feels a little bit loose, and it's the closing action that gives it its strength on the Virarc. On the BSA, however, I would say that's smoother and it feels like it's just got that edge over the pull. You've also got a swivel on this biathlon style side lever, which to me probably gives it the edge. This is just a shaped one, which actually, by the looks of that, needs tightening a little bit, so it is a little bit loose. It's not as good. The triggers, naturally two-stage triggers, both feel very very similar the only thing that i would give it i would give the bsa that little bit more because the, the type of trigger that it's got is more adjustable to your finger placement which i like i like the curvature of it and everything else so you've got to go a long way in my opinion to beat the comfort of a bsa trigger certainly on these slx's uh, r12s etc my r10 is just the same so triggers pull feel both very much the same comfort i probably prefer the comfort on the r12 okay loading the magazines the magazines are so simple solid chunks of metal on the hw100 I don't know of a more simple, more reliable magazine than one of those. I really don't. They're weighty, you know you've got them in your pocket, you load them up, it, you, out it comes out the side, in you go, push it forward and you're loaded and you're away. Simple as that, absolutely. You can do them one-handed. You can load the magazines on these one-handed. They are that simple. Out it comes. The only issue I have is where you actually put them back in. It's very difficult to know you're putting it back in if you've got a part use magazine as to where it is for it to fire because you be, could be shooting fresh air for a few shots until you actually get round to it. That's my only downside. But the trade off to have that, which is in the BSA magazine, is it's, it's a little bit more fiddly to load. It's a little bit more fiddly, I suppose, in general. After saying that, you put it in, there is a, a magnet to pull it forward. It locks into place. There is no locking mechanism anymore. You don't need it. Close it up and it's on the place you need to be to shoot. So you're always going to be ready for your next shot. Not only that, you've got a countdown window on these, which is much easier to see you know how many shots you've got left left on this yeah there's an indicator that you have to put it in at the right way around to give you an idea but there is no countdown indicator you've got to remember how many you've shot and if you're out on an evening you're taking a few shots you're going to forget so if you're not careful you've either got to keep taking it out having a look but then when you go put it back in you've got you're going to struggle to put it back in the right place so the magazine as good as it is and it's probably one of the best in the industry isn't as practical in use as a magazine that counts down and actually keeps its position. So that's that. The scope rail on the top of the BSA, that's always been a bit of a niggle because normally it's 9 to 11 on a dovetail rail. On this, it's 13 mil. Why BSA have stuck to this 13 mil, I will never know. I've asked them and they don't know but they've stuck to it anyway which means you're not getting a perfect perfect fit with your scope mounts on a bsa rail unless you buy specific 13 mil ones which is going to cost you a lot of money or as i do you put bkl mounts on it which open up and they're dead center and they fit perfectly so it does affect it a bit now on the Viroc HW100, there is a dovetail rail underneath, which is a standard dovetail rail that you can use, or it comes with an add-on Weaver Picatinny rail, which of course is so simple, drop it on, tighten it up, you take your scope off, put it back on, it's exactly in the place where you left it, and you just start shooting. So the rail on the Viroc, to be honest, gets the vote. 
rather than the 13mm rail on the BSA. After saying that, I don't take scopes off and on, off and on my own guns. I do when I'm reviewing them because I'm constantly changing things about. But ordinarily, no, my scope sits on my gun and that is it. As far as noise level is concerned, Now, a tonal change and that is it. I won't say that the Viroc is any quieter than. Yes, I can get a dB meter out and possibly find a little bit somewhere along the line, but tonal change is just as important. And to be honest, they're both as quiet as each other. They both have adjustments available to the stock to get a better positioning. And I suppose that is an overall view as to these, and this is straight off the cuff. However, which would I choose? Would I choose the R12 or the 100? I've got, I haven't got a 100, I've actually got a 110 and I absolutely swear by it and I love it. The thing is, none of them are perfect, but then again, there probably is no such thing as perfection. Not really. So you're going to have to live with certain issues. I mean, of course, I consider myself perfect, but my wife doesn't. And she realises these things that she has to live with. And we can all say the same. So it is a very much a personal choice. Uh, standing here, looking at these two, I prefer the SLX. The reason I prefer the SLX is because it ticks my box as far as laminate stocks are concerned. It is very comfortable. I can shoot thumbs up position on this one. The safety is straight to the thumb position. I find it immensely comfortable and I've, I've been used to shooting BSAs for so long. It is like going home and putting on an old pair of slippers. So out of these two here, I would choose the SLX. However, all you guys that start shouting, shouting on the Viroc front, hold on a minute, because if this was in a laminate, because that's just my personal preference, if this was in a laminate, then I would, it'd be a closer run thing. And the simplicity of the magazine, the simplicity, the accuracy of the gun, everything about that does swing quite heavily towards the Viroc. The thing is, and I know this doesn't help, and by all means, you can start the arguments in the comments at the bottom, please do, because that's all this is about. This is a straight off the cuff um, review. You're gonna have your personal favorites. I personally, and I've said it before, the BSA and the Viroc would probably be the last guns I would ever, ever get rid of and ever sell. They are both beautiful beautiful guns they really really are they are a dream to shoot yes i do like my agt vulcan 3 undoubtedly but this conversation is about these two and i really couldn't couldn't choose between the two if this was in laminate as well to match this which they do and it looks gorgeous yeah i'd really really be hard pushed I prefer a thumbs up position to a, a more pistol grip and skeleton. I absolutely do. So this particular one wouldn't normally float my boat, but you know what? If I was out and about doing some pest control, I'd take this one before I took this without a shadow of a doubt. Really, really nice guns. And I don't care which one you fall on the side of, you won't be disappointed in the comfort, the accuracy, their ability and yeah, you've got yourself either, I suppose, I don't know. I can't do an analogy with a car because we haven't got a car industry in, in Britain anymore. But I could do the, the, the Spitfire and, and the, the, the ME109. And to be honest, they were both amazing fighters. They really were. And at the end of the day, it was down to the person behind the controls. And I would say that's the same with these two beautiful guns absolutely beautiful guns you won't you won't be upset with whichever one you choose there you go i've said enough what i'll try and do because this one was completely off the cuff i just got a dry day and i got both of these around i'll put the prices down to give you an idea as to how much these things are 
and try and get a picture up of the laminate one if I can. Fingers crossed, I'm creating myself jo jobs and work. But that's it, pretty much. I would like to say, please, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the alarm notification bell. Thanks, because both of these came from Vector Air. Thanks very much to Vector Air, as always, for helping us along the way to put these things together for you to have a look at. It's definitely been an alternative way of doing this, and I can show you target work as well, but the point is both of these will just put it through the same hole. That's it. My biggest thanks, as always, goes out to you guys for watching. Please, stay safe, shoot safe, choose wisely. Choose them both if you can. That's it. Bye for now.